Dory 1, this is Fireteam Delta. Dad's coming home. Welcome to the Military Veteran Dad Podcast, where it is our mission to bring every dad home. I am your host, Ben Colloy. I am a United States Marine veteran, husband, and a father. We will bring authentic conversations to inspire action in your life so we can close the gap between the dad you are today and the dad you want to be tomorrow. This is the Military Veteran Dad Podcast. This is Fatherhood Friday, and I am your host, Ben Cloy. Welcome to Friday. This is your official welcome to a better weekend. And today, I've got a really simple message that was just inspired by an episode that I recorded with, recorded with Greg Fisher, which will be coming out late February, but it was too good of a message to wait. And the message is pretty simple. Say yes. Now, this is not say yes to the dress, the wedding show. This is say yes to your kids. This is say yes to the moment that they want to play trains downstairs. This is say yes to when your daughter comes up to you and plays wants to play Barbies. This is say yes to going outside if you're in the winter playing in the snow. This is saying yes to something in your life that you've been saying no to. In our conversation, we talked about it a lot that the ability of dads just to get lost in the day-to-day stuff that we do and not be with the day-to-day stuff that we do is so, so profound. And at the core of that message is that we need to learn to say yes more. Because let me tell you, there are so many moments in your day, because I have them, I'm right there with you. This advice is a reminder for myself as well. There are so many moments where my littlest one comes in and she wants 10 minutes of my time and damn it, Do I just want to do something? I just want to get an email out the door. And I hear you because during virtual learning, if your kids are still at home and you're trying to get work done, if you got a full-time job, I get it. It is not easy. Let me tell you, as my kids went back an hour into it on on Tuesday, when the first day went back, I was already missing them. And for the idea that even had that thought, I'm like, are you drunk? It was absolutely chaos for the last two months of virtual learning. But then my phone, damn Apple, created this memory video of all the different things that I had done during my time with them this past two months. And it was absolutely amazing. I remembered all the times going sledding, all the times just having fun outside, all the things we built in the snow. And I was reminded that I did say yes quite a bit of times, even in the midst of chaos, even in the midst of just trying to get some work done. And getting yelled at that I can't do math mountains for my first grader. All of that, it was hard, it was difficult, and it wasn't easy. But learning to say yes is a simple thing, and it sounds, it's two words, say yes. But it can be such a shift in your mentality that I need to leave what I'm doing to go do something else. I want to back this up with a story going all the way back to this past summer in 2020, that... There was many moments where I just wanted to do work and my wife was home during the summer and I could have easily just closed the door and locked myself in and pretended like I had an eight to five job, but I didn't. There was many times where I would recruit half the neighborhood to go on a bike ride and we probably had like eight or nine kids out with me at some times and people give me weird looks and I'm like, don't worry, they're not all mine. But let me tell you what happens when I said yes in those moments. When I said yes to those moments, I've had some of my best ideas for this podcast when I'm out engaging with my kids. I've had the best ideas for something next. I've had the best ideas for new podcast ideas on the other side of saying yes. So I want to tell you that on the other side of saying yes is potentially something that can change your life. Now, that sounds crazy because... Your mind probably saying like, there's just chaos. There's just wild emotions. There's probably fighting. Why would I want to say yes to that? Because when you enter that chaos and you learn to be calm within that chaos, you create this idea that love is surrounding yourself because you're like, man, it's freaking super chaos right now. But man, my kids love me. I love them. What a great moment. In those moments where you can receive the love, the chaos all at once and find humor. And sometimes I remember going for those bike rides and just being like, fuck. I'm one lottery. I'm out riding bikes with my kids. It's summer. It just feels like a million bucks. And I mean, now looking back and it's winter, I'm like, damn, those days were the good ones. But 
say yes, because on the other side of that yes could be the one thing that is going to unlock repeatedly over time. Now, it may not be the first time, it may not be the second time, but if you repeat this, I am positive that if you re-engage with your kids on a moment-by-moment basis, 10 minutes at a time, you can really make a dent in their behavior. You can really make a dent in their love tank. All of that can be changed on the other side of yes. So guys, say yes when your kids come up to you. I challenge you to do it for one week, to give them, don't tell them you're doing it, do it, because they'll probably abuse it, but say yes every time they come in. Now, don't tell them, like I said, don't tell them you're going to say yes every time and that you're not going to try to pause or try to come up with an excuse why not. But every time it's possible, try to challenge yourself every time for the next seven days after hearing this podcast, whenever you hear it, say yes to your kids when they want you to do something. And notice how you feel differently after engaging in 10 minutes. Notice after seven days how much more gratitude you have for being a father. Notice how much more gratitude you have for life. Notice how much more gratitude you have for your wife because you and her both created this abundant ball of anger and love and joy all at the same time. All of that can happen on the other side of saying yes. So guys, I hope you have an amazing weekend. I hope you were able to take this message into the weekend and create some yeses on the other side of that. The weekend's the best place to say yes because like I said, yes can change your life when you enter your kid's world. And the best advice that I can give when you go into their world is just be an expander. Use your imagination, use your cool imagination as a dad to enter their world and just expand what they believe to be possible. Really do something fun, do something creative in some cases, build a fort, use your imagination to expand their imagination of what is possible in this world. And with that, signing off. Like I said, have an amazing weekend. And as always, I will talk to you guys again on Monday.